This is the new car. Welcome back to another episode of Pro and Drive By. This week, a bit of Forester action instead of Miata. So, let's get right into it. I've got a bit of this. Mind the noisy birds. But um, I've got some heat tape. It might be, it might not, I'm not sure. Um, this is this is the cheaper version because the more expensive one was like 50 bucks for a quarter of this where this was like 30 so I got so much more I don't even know if it works we're gonna try because my bonnet heat insulator is falling apart very badly and it doesn't want to focus to it for some reason so the plan is rip this off and stick that on hopefully hopefully this thing comes off easy yeah they're all gonna break like they always do oh well As you can see, this thing is fucking rooted. That can go in the bin. But anyway, we got it off and it is pretty filthy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a good little wipe and wash and get rid of all this shit that's probably never been washed before. Um, And what I was planning on putting the gold wrap just in these squares, you know what I mean? Just to have that better look. But if that doesn't look well, well, I'll just do the frame. And the whole point of me putting the heat wrap tape in there and not just leaving it without one is because just in case it wants to get a bit warm and warp the bonnet because of heat, well, that's not gonna get rid of easy. You're gonna have to repair it or get a new bonnet, either or. So hopefully this tape does something. Um, but one way to find out, true. So let's give it a clean. I'm just gonna try with a bit of wax and grease remover to hopefully kill it, or even maybe some degreaser, um, just to get rid of it. And plus, it'll be good for the tape to stick to something that's nice and clean that doesn't have oil residue or whatnot on it. See how well this shit goes. Yeah, nice. Exactly what I wanted. Uh, I'm gonna go do the rest of the bonnet. Uh, so I gave her a, a bit of a clean. Um, it's probably the best I'm going to get it. Anyway, as I said before, we're going to try and do those little triangle bits first. Um, um, I don't know how we're going to go because it's not as thick as the triangle bits. So I'm going to have to do little lines, if that makes sense. But that'll be alright. Um, I don't know how well this stuff cuts with a razor blade. But we're going to try. And I don't know how sticky it is either. It should be alright. It's all been prepped and whatnot. I went over with the water and his, as well just to wash all the degreaser off. But, um, yeah, it should be alright. Let's try. So what I think I'm going to do is just, it's kind of do it hard doing this one hand. But I'll stick it on. Oh, there's a pole there. I'll stick it on as good as I can. And then I'll just trim 
the excess around the corners and whatnot and I'll run lines. Yeah, this shit ain't the thickest. It's kind of just like a sticker, so I don't know how well it's going to work. But we're going to find out. Hopefully it does its job and I don't have a warpy bonnet. Because then I'm fecked. Maybe it will do something if it focuses. Um, it's got like some sort of bullshit going on there. It's kind of woven. So hopefully it does something. Kind of fuck that cut up a little. Um, if I have enough at the end, I'll redo that piece because that's going to piss me off. But um, really easy to cut and really sticky as well, which is good. I've done one little square. Mind that stupid cut that I did before, but um, looks pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I think I might stick the little triangle things. It kind of looks just pretty good. But um, we we'll only have one chance to see if it actually does the heat thing. What do you want to call it? But um, yeah, I'm going to keep doing with this. It's actually taken a while. It's probably going to get dark by the time I'm done. But uh, well, we'll keep going. We'll still got tomorrow anyway. Alright, well, so far, so good, all's going well, and we've actually used, fuck all, like, I've still got heaps, that's the first roll, I've still got another full one, but, um, my legs are killing me from leaning over the bloody rad support the whole time, but, she's coming up mint, I can't do much about these little bits, because that's where, like, the glue is to hold them together but that's fine there's not much you can do about it like there and down in the corner you can see all the bumps but that's all right we've only got a little bit left we've only got the three smallest i think well they are kind of long but um yeah not much left i can't really record it because it's just the same shit over and over like you had that time lapse that's probably the, the best you're gonna get It's slowly starting to get dark, and I'm starving. But we'll try and get this done. All right, I'm back. It's dark, of course. But um, we're all done. How cool does it look? But yeah, that took some time. My knees are weak. I can't walk. Um... Hopefully this video was entertaining, like I only did one little thing, but it took me a while. It's the first time I ever worked with that stuff, pretty cool, pretty easy. If you're going to use it, use a sharp razor, it helps a lot. Because like, as I showed before, the back of it's like woven, it's not actually like sticky tape. 
you know what I mean. But um, I've got another roll. Let me know in the comments what you want me to do with it. Be interesting. Don't be like top mount. Be like headlights. No, I'm joking. But you know what I mean. Um, and all the cutoffs. I made a little mural on the light. No reason for it. Just cause. But um, that's probably it for this episode of Pro Drive. Eh? If you did like, leave a like. If you want some more, subscribe and let us know in the comments on how we did. But um, until next episode, keep bullin'.